The Apple Watch 8 announcement is imminent, most likely coming in September, and along with that, there's a rumored Apple Watch Pro that might drop as well. I love my Apple Watch Series 7, but there's lots of upgrades and features that I still want to see out of this year's model. And future iterations, because let's face it, I want some things that I'm almost certain won't come to this version, but a boy can dream, and that is what I'm going to do today. So let's dive right in. Let's start with the build. The Apple Watch has pretty much remained the same shape and design since its launch seven years ago. A square watch, two screen size options, and rounded edges. The latest model, the Series 7, increased the screen size by about 20% by slimming down the bezels around the screen and increasing the case size by a millimeter. I own the larger 45 millimeter model and I upgraded from the 44 millimeter Series 6. I love the larger screen, but I already felt like the Apple Watch was a bit large before the increase in size. So I hope that the next watch goes back to the smaller casing of the Series 6, but retains the larger screen by slimming down the bezels. Honestly, I'd like an edge-to-edge -edge screen, and one day I'm sure we'll get that. I'd also like to see a slimmer design and depth. The watch has always felt a little thick, and it would be nice to see that trimmed down in future models while retaining its durability. Speaking of durability, it is time that the watches sold by Apple, all of them, get the strongest glass display available. Currently, the Series 7 aluminum watches have Ion X glass display, and the stainless steel models have the stronger sapphire crystal display. I hear so many stories, including my own, of light and deep scratches on Apple Watch faces. I think the stronger glass should be a standard on all models, or at least you should have the ability to upgrade the screen at an extra cost. Now, I'm hoping that the rumored Pro model comes with a much tougher design and glass. Now, let's talk about shape, because honestly, I've never been the biggest fan of a square watch. Yeah, you get more surface area, but I prefer a round device on my wrist, and that's what I'd like to see in the future from Apple. Does anyone else feel that way? Yeah, yeah, they'll need to rework their watch OS to do that, but I think it's worth it. And I think we should have the option for either a square or round device. Now, I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon, but I really hope it does eventually. Now, most importantly, we have got to get a longer lasting battery in this thing. Currently, the Series 7 gets about 18 hours of battery life. I've been able to extend this a few hours on my Series 7 by turning off the always on display, but I've worn multiple fitness trackers and specifically I used the Fitbit for years. The model I had lasted five freaking days. When I switched to the Apple Watch, I was surprised and pretty annoyed by how often it would die on me, and then I would set it to charge, and then I would forget it at home, which sucks because if you work out and there's no device to track it, did you really burn any calories? No. At a minimum, I would like to see four days of battery life. This means if you go on a weekend trip, you just gotta charge the watch to full and you don't have to bother to bring the charger with you. There's a high possibility this upgrade could be coming with the next line of Apple Watches. Rumors say the Apple Watch Pro could get a larger battery and more life. I hope the smaller models see an increase in power as well, possibly through efficiency upgrades with watchOS 9. When it comes to charging that battery, I have a couple requests here. First, I'd like the watch to be able to charge via induction charging and not just the proprietary Apple charger. Granted, that cable charges the device much faster than induction, I just don't like carrying around all these extra cables, or if I forget the cable entirely, I'm out of luck. On that note, I also want to see something on the new iPhone, and that's the ability to use reverse wireless charging, essentially converting your iPhone to a charging mat that can be used to charge another phone, AirPods, or in this case, the Apple Watch. Now, this has existed on Android phones for some time now. I've used it with my Galaxy Z Flip 5G, and I've charged iPhones, which is really funny. Anyway, it is about time that the iPhone follows suit. 
Now, for sensors, the Apple Watch is full of them. It's got an accelerometer, gyroscope, electrical heart sensor, optical heart sensor, just to name a few. Now, the sensor that I want, which would literally change my life, would be a blood glucose sensor. And while that technology doesn't exist yet, that we know of, there has been a lot of speculation that this could one day happen. And let me tell you, this would disrupt the pharmaceutical industry. I have type 1 diabetes and I currently wear a continuous glucose monitor that inserts a very fine strand into my body, which I need to replace every 10 days. Now this sensor would be a non-invasive one and I really hope it one day becomes available. Now, aside from that, there are rumors of a body temperature sensor coming to the Pro model, and that would make things much easier for knowing if you're getting sick, so I'll take that. There's also been the long-held rumor that the Apple Watch might get a blood pressure sensor, which would be so helpful for certain people. Again, we probably won't see this this time around, but other companies are working on wrist-worn cuffs, so there is potential. Let's get into some software advancements I'd like to see. And to preface this, Apple has already announced the upcoming watchOS 9, so odds are neither of these features will make it to the next software update, but Apple, I hope you're listening. With watchOS 9, Apple has introduced new workout layouts with more information. I actually made a video that dives deeper into these layouts. You can watch that by clicking up in the top right corner, and I'll also throw the link down in the description. For me, what's missing is the ability to see my blood glucose readings on the screen during my workout. Let me tell you, this is the number one stat that I wanna see when I'm on a run. Currently, I need to exit out of the workout screen and swap over to my continuous glucose monitor app and then back. So Apple, please help me there. Next, I'd like to see the ability to answer FaceTime video calls on your watch. Obviously, the caller won't be able to see you, but it would be great for those times when someone wants to quickly show you something live. Plus, then if you switch from your watch to your phone, it will start immediately on the iPhone. Products like the wrist cam, which we have reviewed on CNET, they're just not working for me. To see all the confirmed updates coming to watchOS 9, check out our hands-on video in the top right corner or linked in the description. And let me know if there are any software upgrades or changes that you want to see to the next Apple Watch down in the comments. And while you're here, check out one of these Apple Watch videos. Some of them have yours truly starring in it. But before you go, you should give this video a like. For hands-on reviews of the new Apple Watch or watches, make sure to hit that subscribe button, click that bell for alerts. I'm Justin for CNET, and I'll tech you later.